Greetings YouTube! In this video I will be presenting some information on decoding crop circles and finding out what they actually mean. For viewers who aren't aware of my videos, over the last two years I have intensely experienced extraterrestrial contact with a group of hyperdimensional beings which originate from the star system of Arcturus. I speak a lot about them and you can check out a playlist on my channel. I've also dedicated a video montage of their particular space vehicles. You can check it out here. As for this video on decoding crop circles, I would like to say that there are a few different benevolent groups of extraterrestrials creating these crop circles. However, the beings from Arcturus, with their highly advanced multi-dimensional technology, have been creating the more complex, elaborate designs. There are thousands of crop circles that have been occurring worldwide for a long time. Some of these more simple, messy ones are created by pranksters, but compared to the larger, more geometric ones, it seems impossible that some pranksters could have put so much time and effort into doing so. The crops are actually heated and twisted as they are created using electromagnetic technology. The real crop circles actually generate a field of electrical energy which can be measured with our own technology. What strikes so many people around the world is the fact that these beautiful crop circles are actually messages which communicate advanced mathematical concepts. This video on YouTube is of a lady filming orange light chips materializing over a field close to her house in a country like farmland. Later on in the same video she brings her camera into the field and actually inspects it showing some beautiful formations of the twisted crops. What I find very interesting about this particular sighting is that these particular space vehicles have been caught in so many different locations over the world. If you watch a lot of UFO videos on YouTube, you probably recognize these crafts. Here's another video of the same type of craft. My energy readings is that there are a few different species of beings occupying and operating these particular craft. I get the image of humanoids ranging in height and facial structure. So as this lady, the next day, brings her camera and inspects the crop circle from the inside, already you can see that there are many people inside it. The electromagnetic energy of these designs are most powerful and magnified in intensity within the middle, radiating softly to the outer rims of the crops. They are generally very beneficial to be around as they increase your vibrational frequency as well as telepathically connecting you to the civilizations which created them. So you see the design is of the symbolic flower of life pattern. This pattern is universally known as the creation pattern of all things in existence. Sound vibration unfolds in various forms, but starts with a circle after making a measured circumference from the point or the void of all matter. The circle now finds awareness and knowledge in its reflection of self. It further expands and duplicates itself, creating the Vesica Pisces. This is also what occurs as an organism splits during mitosis or cell reproduction. Every organism has had to geometrically expand itself in the same way. Here you can see that our friends upstairs have demonstrated it. Out of the Vesica Pisces, the vibration or spiritual essence of creation finds mathematical knowledge through this splitting. Then it can rotate and find itself finding a point of repetition at every 90 degree point. Eventually, you get the seed of life. 
then creating the flower of life. The flower of life pattern can be found through every single culture and religion on the planet. It has always been known. All over the universe it is known as the physical manifestation of spirit. It expands infinitely outwards and inwards. Out of this circular pattern you also get the Fibonacci sequence or spiral equation known as Pi. This is intimately connected with the creation process too. But for now, I would like to explain what else manifests from the flower of life. You can think of the feminine energy, Yang, as being the spiral, the circle, the creative, intuitive side. The masculine, or Yin, can be related to the square, or the logical, cornered, mathematical structure. They are both united as one and can only create and expand as one. This is very important to keep in mind. Out of the flower of life, you get a structure known as Metatron's Cube. Metatron's Cube is the universally known as the third dimensional manifestation of mathematical geometry, which further leads on to the shaped lattice of minerals and crystals. But check this out! You get the Metatron's Cube in these crop circles too. Our star family is trying to help us direct attention towards the creation pattern of nature. Humanity must reconnect with spirit. Where there is matter, there is geometry. Within this knowledge of sacred geometry, we can find out more about vibration and how it is unified with all things. That is why the extraterrestrials are giving us geometric messages. These symbols and codes are scientific, mathematical, logical, and found all over the universe as common knowledge. Consciousness, in physical form, is a manifestation of the divine. The electromagnetic energy brings higher frequencies and solidifies it embodying, crystallizing it into geometric form. This then creates everything within our universe. These star beings are communicating in a holistic language. This is the language of light, the language of the all-knowing intelligence that is prevalent all over the cosmos. These star beings are telepathically explaining to me how the universe is an expanding energy field of awareness. It has no linear frame of reference. It is always present. It is the light and the dark side. It is all colors of light. It is all dimensions unified. And in that sense is the ever-flowing imagination of quantum potential. It is one consciousness. However, it chooses to experience self in a manner of diverse fragments. The electron force is what brings atoms to a state of vibration where they manifest physical form. The higher the vibrational frequency, the more light encoded information the atomic structure can contain. Here is some footage on cymatics. Cymatics is the study of visible sound frequencies. In this footage, you can see that there is sand on the metal plate. The metal plate is being tuned to a particular sound, and as the sound gets higher in frequency, the visible pattern on the flat surface increases in its complexity. Here are some interesting pictures of crop circles and liquid cymatics. Everything within creation is a sound. Where vibration occurs, geometric form manifests. There are many documentaries and videos, studies done on water molecules being frozen after exposure to high sound frequencies. The result is beautiful. These frozen particles show stabilized, intricate geometric patterns. 
If you are further interested in this, I will post a video link down below on the study of cymatics and consciousness. Our bodies contain 70 to 80 percent water, and our hearts produce an electromagnetic field around us. This electrical field is attuned to a higher frequency when we are in the emotional bond of love. Love is a much higher frequency and attunes all of your water molecules to this geometric pattern. The formation of the electron force relates to the greater connectivity with source consciousness, which in turn reflects more to your own essence. Here is a crop circle of the seven main energy centers, commonly known as the chakras. These energy centers are also related to the color spectrum ranging from red, the base, orange, sacral, yellow, solar plexus, green, heart, blue, throat area, dark blue, pineal gland, and purple being the top of your head. When you raise your frequency into the higher spectrums of information, you experience yourself flowing and vibrating within a bubble known as the torus. The torus is found within every form of creation. This is the key to understanding reality, my friends. The energy in a torus flows in through one end, circulates around the center, and exits out the other side. It's balanced, self-regulating at every scale. Evolution means to, uh, to unfold, to roll out. So the question is, what is the universe rolling out? And what the universe is rolling out is self-organizing systems. And you can see this at every scale. A self-organizing system is a technical term for just uh, a system getting a hold of itself, uh, knowing itself, essentially. And uh, if we go to nature, uh, we, can, we can look at and we can see the self-organizing forms uh, throughout. We can see it in, in the cross-section of an orange, the cross-section uh, of an apple. We can see it uh, in the dynamic nature of a tornado. Uh, we can see it in the um, magnetic field around the earth, a similar magnetic field around a, uh, an individual. We can see it in the structure of an entire whirlpool galaxy. Uh, we can see it in the structure uh, of, a, of a small atom. Uh, at every scale throughout its entire history, the universe has one single project. It's growing toruses. The universe is a torus growing factory. Here are some two-dimensional versions that seem to be revealing the torus in 3D. There are many more concepts which these evolved beings have presented to us, but the main point they are trying to make is that we must harmonize our physical, emotional, and spiritual bodies as one, so as a planet we will begin to tune into the unity consciousness of the universe. This will prevent separation and lower forms of behavior on the planet. With the awakening of our hearts and pineal glands, we will learn how to work with the universe, expanding and spiraling into the greater dimensions of intelligence. Thank you for watching.